anniversary of one of the largest earthquakes in California's history, one that rattled Kern County decades ago. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall spoke with a local expert about the 1952 Kern County earthquake. Austin? Yeah, by on 67 years ago today, the 7.3 magnitude quake devastated parts of Kern County, and I wanted to find out how that quake compares to the one we felt earlier this month. Intense shaking was felt in both Bakersfield and in Tehachapi where a lot of damage was, was felt. Um, a lot of the buildings that were in Bakersfield at the time suffered significant damage. The 1952 Kern County earthquake killed 12 people, was responsible for at least 18 injuries, and caused at least $50 million in property damage, according to the Southern California Earthquake Data Center. But oftentimes, earthquake damage is used as a learning experience, says William Crew, an associate professor at CSU Bakersfield. We're able to learn more about how, how to develop uh, better building codes, how to, how to make buildings stronger, how to make things so that people can survive an earthquake, but also how buildings may be able to survive and, and still be usable. Structural damage was felt in the communities of Trona and Ridgecrest earlier this month, but no deaths were reported. Crew says ultimately the 52 quake and the Ridgecrest quake share a lot in common, but the toll of each were decided by one factor. The biggest difference being that we were much closer in 1952 to where that earthquake happened. The epicenter was a lot closer than what we felt from the Ridgecrest quake, which was quite a bit further away. Crew says the 1952 quake shook Bakersfield residents sim similar to what those in Ridgecrest and Trona felt earlier this month. He also wanted to underline to me the importance of being vigilant and always keeping your home ready for the next one. In the studio, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you.